cocina. Good morning and welcome to a new episode of the Lobo Live, Tales of the Lobo podcast, where we'll hear stories of our fellow classmates. I'm your host, Christina Torres, and today our topic is the Lobo Football 5A Division II program. Our guests are willing to share their personal stories. Now I'd like to allow our guests to introduce themselves. Good morning. Armando Aguirre, Ryan Carbona, Richie Salcedo. All right, thank you guys and good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys, so today we're going to start off with a few questions, but congratulations on winning district champions. Thank, thank you. you. Was thank that a tough game? It, yeah. It was, it was, you know, it was tough. Crazy you, game. Big, in the beginning of the game, we knew it was going to be a dogfight, and we managed to get through it. All right. Who, y'all play Ed Couch, right? Yeah. yeah. That was, that must, yeah, that was playing a good game. All right, guys, now today for our questions, our first one was, how did you adapt going from a middle school football team to a high school football team? Um, there's very a lot of challenges because it's different between middle school and high school. There's like way more, more teams and it's different altogether. Okay. I feel like it was hard for me changing positions because in middle school I played quarterback and I went from a different position to a receiver. So it was a little hard. Well, I played both basically the same positions throughout my middle school year and high school year because I started, I really started in sixth grade in the outside league team, and I kept on developing, developing the same positions, running back in offense, linebacker in defense, and as I got to, like, to seventh grade, you know, middle linebacker offense, I, you know, I kept developing, and I saw, you know, uh, a change where I really got better, and in sixth grade, I, in the outside league, I wasn't really that good, but, like, entering high school year, you know, I saw that, you know, I had a lot of potential in both positions. That's pretty good. Okay, guys, what advice would you give to the middle schoolers coming in? For football, be ready. Be ready. be ready, and it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy. You gotta have a lot of discipline, and you gotta stay committed. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe just be ready and like be disciplined. Be Don't dis- be playing around. You know, take it serious. Okay. Was it harder like middle school? Probably like having fun, enjoying it. Now, like you have to lock in and like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was it's yeah. like a difference. Yeah. Fifty-two. Like a like a huge difference. Like it wasn't a huge difference because in middle school we'll be locked in too sometimes, but it would depend on the coach's mood. Like this year, I feel like we're more locked in. I feel like it was like more. You know, we had the same. Uh, how can I say it? In middle school, like our games were, you know, they were still tough. They were still for you guys to have. Yes, it was. Honestly, it was, but. The, dif- the discipline was still there. It was still the same. It just it would be different mindsets, you know. And what are you guys' mindsets for now, for like, for playoffs? Like, or do you guys go up to playoffs? No, no, that's what I said. But for next year, how do you guys like? What's your like mindset for next year? Oh, oh. And, uh, you know, come to every workout during the summer and stay committed. Stay committed, going to everything we need to do, and either be in the field, off the field. You know, stay committed. Stay committed. All right, guys. And now a little quick shout out to our varsity team where they play for playoffs at Friday on Friday at 7 p.m. at Sherryland. It's going to be a tough game, game guys, so go out and support. I'm pretty sure these guys will be out there as well, helping yeah. them support and being yeah. there. All right, guys, now on the varsity, which player on the varsity team do you guys look up to? Who's that one person that every time, and like since middle school, you probably like looked up to them being, like them being in high school? Yeah. Since middle school, around seventh grade year, right? Seventh grade year, we saw what Eddie Eddie has been doing. Eddie Slovak, uh-huh. we saw what he's been doing to an eighth grade year. You know, he's been doing good, breaking records here in Lopez. Breaking records. Yeah. yeah, I really been. You know, I've looked up to him. Like the first player I looked up to was Eddie, but once I got here, I saw that Gabe Jules. He had a lot of potential, okay. and in practice, he helps me with my routes and everything. So I want to thank him. I'll probably say the same, Eddie Slovak. I mean, he broke the. The all-time record, so probably him. And so like, all right. And have you guys like asked them like, hey, like, ask for advice? Well, I've asked them advice throughout my like, what's my experience gonna be for my high school year? Like, just do your work and you know, keep up with everything. Stay on it, yeah. How did you guys become interested in playing football? <laughs> uh, one day I was in my backyard again, like, fourth, fifth grade, and I just want, I just told my mom I wanted to play football, so I signed to a team. Ever since then, I've been playing football. Since how like how little were you, or like I was like nine. Eight. You've been playing since outside league. <clears throat> yeah. What team was it, or like the Cowboys? The Cowboys. All right, that's 
Yeah. Um, probably, I just always love the sport, so why not give it a try? So you started middle school years? Yeah, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yeah, one time we were in gym athletics period in middle school, sixth grade. <laughs> Ryan came up to me with his cousin saying, if you want to play like outside league football? And that's my first year when I started. I didn't really know how to play, but I kept on pushing it, and I played for the STX Rock Riders. Well, I know your mom plays football. Ryan's oh, mom. That's Ryan. Yeah, your yeah. mom? Yeah. How does like how like does she motivate you? Yeah, in the games. Sometimes. She motivates you. Yeah. All right, that's good. Um, what other sports would you guys be joining this year for your freshman year? Uh, I'll be joining basketball. That's it. Just Are you over. excited for this season? Not not much. What's your most like? What's y'all's favorite sport? If you guys play other sports? Baseball. I'll but, probably go. Mm, I don't have a favorite. Probably basketball, but. I'm not doing that anymore. You know, so what? You're just doing football this year? Probably track and powerlifting. So. Track and powerlifting. Right, that's good. Yeah. You? Baseball, baseball, really, because like me and my brother, you know, he's been playing baseball since he was young, and I stopped for a bit, but I still had that same passion I had for baseball. But I stayed more to football. And I see, more, I see me going to baseball more. That's good. So, you guys are like football is like your second favorite sport, or? It's our first. It's our, it's our first. first. Your first. Okay, guys. Okay. We have sides. We have sides as well. You have sides. Okay, but in the summer, do you guys have a routine for both of them? Or just focus as football since it's the season coming up right yeah, now? Yeah, the season football. coming up, it's the focus mainly on football. We got to yeah, we gotta train in the offseason and get better. <laughs> yeah, hit that weight room. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Okay. When you are playing, who is the person you hope to see in the stands? Uh, my mom. She was the first person ever like to go to my games. She's been on to my games. She's never really missed the games, so first friend's my mom. Probably my parents. I mean, they can't make it most of the time, but either my brother or my parents, for sure. Yeah, my parents as well, but, you know, it, it's good to also see my dad here and support. My mom can't really make it, but my dad's always here to support as well. All right, who is the one person who motivates you to do better? Coach Moose, obviously, 100%. But, yeah. The one person to help me, like, motivate like during the game like if you're like let's say like you run a bad play or like however like who's the one person that picks your head up because i know there's sometimes where the players like they get mad and they just like, oh yeah coach martinez yeah for sure like he motivates you like yeah he, like he picks you up like yeah <laughs> there's, there's a lot of coaches you know that motivate you can shout out all of them it's fine um he's not really there at the games but you know he like whenever we play because he has to go with jv but that's the rafa Perfect. All right, guys, that's good. See, so like I do a bad play, and you know, you know, if I, something bad happens, forget about it, keep going. Coach Rayna as well. All right, who scored any touchdown this season? Like, did one of y'all score anything? Yeah, yeah, I scored several, but on the last game at Cal District game, who won our, who basically won our game was John, yeah, John, John Hernandez. John. Yeah, John. All right. Right, and I want to ask a question. How did you guys feel, like, if you guys scored a touchdown, how did it feel your first time playing a high school game from um, a difference to middle school? Yeah, we, nice. we were so excited. Our, what was it, right? Our, our first game, we won 40 per zero, and I think, like, everybody, our whole friends just scored. Yeah. Wow. Except me. Every, every position scored, except <laughs> Langman. <laughs> no, but I'm pretty sure, like, you did good on, yeah, on offense sure. or however. I mean, it's as long as the O-line and everyone does their job, we have to, like, if everyone does their job, we... We build up the score and everything. You guys, like, you guys do good. Yeah, we do good. So however you guys, like, it's a team effort. Exactly. Yeah. I would yes. say football is a huge team effort. Yeah. Everyone and has to be on the same page. Do you guys feel like you guys have that good teamwork for next year? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. I mean, because we have the JV players that are, you know, there's some JV players, not saying some, but, you know, several yeah. of them who actually have the right mindset and their goal is to win a, a district title. That's what we want to go for in the varsity level. Hopefully we do it. All right. So you guys, your your goals, you guys have your right mindset. You guys have ready for it for next season. Yes, we are. Yeah. And for the off season next next semester, you guys yeah. are ready. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. And don't get to wake up early in the morning. I know. Well, I wish you guys luck on your season for next year. And hopefully you guys do. When you guys are in varsity, you guys get district, then you guys go off to the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Thank yeah, you. Hopefully. Thank you. All right, guys, that is it. We're going to be cutting this podcast. All right, guys, that's the end of the episode.
I'm your host, Cristina Torres, and I'm signing off. Armando Aguirre, signing off. Ryan Carbola, signing off. Richie Sacedo, signing off. And there you guys have it, another episode of The Lobo Live, Tales of the Lobo. Stay tuned for more captivating stories from our amazing students right here at the Lopez High School. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. Until next time, this is Cristina Torres signing off.